Very, very, very good. Said I wasn't gonna drink last night, and I drank. <laughs> Said I wasn't gonna eat beef today. We're kicking off week five. No, week six. We're kicking off week six with a motherfucking bang. We're here, Houston, Texas. It's the hostel. No, it's not the hostel. I've been talking about the hostel takeover tour. Is it? It's the calm before the storm tour. I've already been pre-gaming. I was just gonna let y'all know that when you walk into a bathroom in a green room at a venue and I smell like body wash and like venue smells, it just takes me back immediately to touring with tech so just being out here is like a fucking mind fucking itself and we're out here checking out the homies JL, Stars, Tech 9 Strange Music Family. Boom! I'm a little toasty. Let's see what's cracking. Before I put this vlog out, I just had to say, real quick, what, what just happened right there, what you just seen, like, it's, it's hard to put into words, like, it means a lot, it means a lot to us, like, you know, we, we came into the label, we're new artists, we're just making friends with everybody on the label over the last five years, like, people like Tech 9 people like Chris Calico, they don't owe us anything, you know what I'm saying, they were signed to them, we're, you know, obviously, there's a vested stake in our act doing well, but they don't have to do anything for us specifically. So when we show up at their show and crash the show and they have the forethought to be cool with us and, and, and like show us love and ask us, where's the show? Let us know so we can promote it. And like, I, I did holler at Tech to ask him if he could help us promote the show, but you know, tell if he could do some extra promotion for us. Um, Cali, I didn't even get to talk to him about it. He just kind of like picked up on the vibe and like asked us where the show was. So I just want to say like, that's ill. That's super dope. We appreciate that. They don't have to do that. They do that out of like the kindness of their heart. And that's what's so dope about Strange Music is that everybody in Strange is like very down to earth across the board, super talented people, down to earth, vibing. And we'll do the kind of thing like ask you where you're performing during their show to like, promote the show for you to the crowd. That's love. I got so much love for Chris Calico. I got so much love for Tech 9 It's crazy. I, I just want to point that out real quick. All right, let's keep it moving. We keep running into them on the fucking road, man. This is the second show they made it to, man. It's so beautiful. That means you don't get drunker tonight, you know, man. This is going to be a fucking strong pro group in Houston tonight, man. We're going to eat some food in and fuck some pussy and drink some motherfucking warm liquor. It's going to be beautiful. Thanks, you know. Here for one reason and one reason only for strange music. So when this next motherfucker song drop, I need everybody in this motherfucker to go bonkers. Let's go!
What'd you do? We're not fucking advertisers, right? Fuck. <laughs> Damn it, you tried to be slick. And you slapped something out of this guy's hand and you dropped your food. I, I set my own food out of my own gut here. <laughs> Graham Smoker. God, this is, not, gonna get high, though. this is not what the comfort suite is about. Here you go. How about this? You can have mine. I don't want yours. It's good though. That's the same. Oh, it's so good. You don't want one? What do you got? <laughs> <laughs> it's um, pollo de pancha with one tortilla. La Blanca. Oh, yeah, the refried beans. I can't pick this shit up, bro. We're done. Yeah, you you cleaned it up good enough, I think. <laughs> so you don't, you don't want my plancha? Yeah, I want your plancha. <laughs> well, now they're going to keep this fucking plancha. Here, take the plancha. I have a fucking... <laughs> this is the aftermath of the Tech Nine show. What a great way to start week six. Here, take the plancha. <laughs> That's funny. Well, man, 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 man. Don't you? Oh, what'd you get? Blue Bell? You get the Ooh. Listeria? Did not have Listeria? I'm gonna have that diary tomorrow, yeah. Ooh. You are gonna have the diary. Ooh, damn, you got a whole pint of cookies and cream. Yes, sir. Right. I call for his in the bathroom. Ooh, ooh. Plancha versus the cookies and cream. Plancha all the way. Mm -hmm. Dairy Floor makes plancha. everything worse. Floor Plancha. Good night, guys. <laughs> Good night, guys. Enjoy your Plancha and Listeria. Hung over. Hung over. Hung over. Tech Nine Show. We got two this tour. Cut Spokane on a day off, and then Houston on a day off. Now, the tricky part about that for us is Spokane was a day off, a real day off. We were on the way somewhere else. Whereas Houston, Houston, we're playing here today. So, it's tricky playing a show in a city the night after the biggest artist on your label plays it because you know it's a lot of traffic there's things going on people only got so much money to spend on entertainment and shows and stuff so it's a little tricky so we'll see what's happening tonight we're playing at the secret group it's supposed to be for stand-up comedy it's that's what i've been told it's a stand-up comedy club so i don't know exactly if they're equipped for what we're about to do i hope they are you're about to find out with me Let's fucking get it cracking right now. Houston, Texas. Let's go. Start a week sick, baby. Day. I don't know what day it is. We just played uh, Houston, Texas last night. It's crazy because on paper, it's crazy to me how this morning how like you could feel so good after a show that on paper is like not that dope. Um, damn, the AC is loud. Fuck. Anyways, uh, so yeah, um, it's kind of like the perfect storm in San Antonio. I mean, uh, in See, see, this is like breaking down on me. It's kind of like the perfect storm in Houston for countering a good show. You have Twisted was in town last week. Tech Nine played last night, or the night before the show. Uh, we're in a brand new venue that just opened last week, so a lot of people don't even know about it. Uh, it's a weeknight. It was a Wednesday night, so it was kind of like everything that could possibly like hinder the show popping off was in place so perfect storm so um we had so we had a cool vip uh we met with a couple of heads that were really fun like showed us a lot of love and the show itself we had sound problems on stage first of all on stage we couldn't even hear ourselves at all we couldn't i couldn't hear vocals i've been having a really bad like since week five into week six like denver uh, Colorado Springs, terrible. Like for me, my personal stage sound, my mic, 
I can barely hear that. So, so just like, I mean, I know some people are familiar, but if you uh, just understand, like, think about it. If you're on stage and the crowd hears you perfectly or really loud, but you can't hear yourself at all, you're either A, gonna yell, cause you trying to be louder so that you can hear yourself. <laughs> Or B, you're just off, like you're not hitting what you need to be hitting because you can't hear yourself where you're going. So I've been having that problem a lot in the last week. Luckily, we've done some of these songs so many times that like I have mental muscle memory for them and I just, I could do them in the dark if I had to, I could do them blind. Um, so you, you just, you go to that zone, you know where to go, you feel you're in the right spot, you know? But it's hard and it strains the voice and my voice is famously weak, so. Um, I'll fucking, I'll strain my throat quick, fast. Uh, so, it's cool, we got another day off today. I'm traveling to San Antonio. Uh, we're gonna head into San Antonio. We're gonna do a fly off and fly to Melbourne, Florida for Halloween show uh, that's off the tour. And then we're coming back to finish off in Texas and Dallas. Uh, so that's the plan for right now. San Antonio, Texas. We're out back at Jack's Bar and live. This is the first time we've ever played this venue. This is a brand new venue for us. Um, we're not familiar with this venue. Shit, I don't even think Mayday's ever played a headlining show in this city before. That's a fact, if I'm not mistaken. Last tour we did Dallas. I, don't, I think Dallas is the only one I really remember. We did the Curtain Club. Uh, so yeah, so this is the first. I got um, my old buddy Matt from my high school days who lives out here now. He just moved out here for work. So I got to kick it with him last night. That was cool. Um, got some drinks, got some food. Caught up on some old times. Saw some CDs of mine that I have not fucking seen in years. In at least 12 to 14 years. Pretty fucking crazy. Blast from the past. Mayday's in town, San Antonio. You guys killed it. San Antonio, you guys fucking, fucking killed it. Murdered it. You murdered it, it was awesome. It's fucking great, look at this guy. He looks like a fucking Greek god. That's how you know you killed it. You killed the show, you guys were awesome. Bye love, thank you. Love you. Hey, let me find out.
could definitely move somewhere more appealing. Dallas, Texas! We're at the Curtain Club! It's been a long fucking day. Crazy long day. We've been flying since 6, 7 this morning. And we had a fucking six hour layover. And now we're here backstage at the venue, green room, about to shoot a video with the homie JC. About to do it, we need to get it popping. It's a busy day today, I'm fucking tired. But Web3 is here, and we're gonna start drinking early. Party. Moving like a rattlesnake in Venice Shedding off my monkey suit Well that'll take a minute Hold the door for me Brothers and sisters It's time to jettison The world's passing by I think it's about time That they let us in My medicine is like better gin Ice cold juice sentiments By all means I'm meddling With a vibe to thrive like gentlemen right, It's our time man It's our time I think Did they Did they Let me out of here Okay It's our time We love y'all man Yeah. <laughs>